All right, so this is a review reaction on episode six, the finale of Blue Therapy. Whoa, that's all I can say. Before we even get into that, make sure you like, subscribe, get me hit the bell notification so you're notified of when we upload new video content. Also, any content that you suggest, go ahead, leave that in the comment section below. Could do a review on that, could do a reaction video to that. Who knows? Could talk about it, who knows? You know what I mean? Just leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Follow the Akabila Trust on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that good stuff there. All right, so boom. Back, I can say back chat. Blue Therapy, I know on the same channel, Transcendental. Um, but yeah, and created by the same people anyway. But like, ain't it interesting how this is the finale? And how this episode, right? I said that each episode just gets wilder and wilder and wilder and wilder and wilder. This one was even more wild. Even more wild. Like, I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with the beginning, shall we? I wrote down a few notes. So here we go. Let's 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 pull try and pull this off. There's a few things I want to say. Even before we even get to that, there's some people, right, that be saying, "Oh, the show's fake. You can tell it's fake. This, that, and the third. I'm like, "Yo, listen, listen to yourself. You're still watching it anyway. First and foremost. Secondly, 99.9% .9 of all these shows, yeah, whether to be on uh, on 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 streaming platforms." You know what I mean? Or TV or wherever. 99.9% .9 of them are fake anyway. And some of them are based on true stories. Do you see what I mean? So even if they're based on true stories, there's still an element of, um, you know, fakeness to it. But it's just, it adds more drama and suspense and all that good stuff there. So I just want to say this. If I was the director of this this show or producer of this show or whatever do you know what i will say are you not entertained are you not entertained is this not why you are here all right so let's get into it so there have been a few things that i jotted down notes and all that stuff like i said so let's go so the first point is Basically, Paul's sister, yeah, came. Now, I didn't understand why she was there until Paul said she he invited her, more or less for moral support. And I understand that, but this is what I don't understand as well. It's like, I'm not being funny here, yeah, but I'm going to be real right here. I'm always going to be real. But the lesson in this part is, first of all, First of all, this is a therapy session, right? It's a couple's therapy. So you do not need your siblings or anybody else for that matter to be there for your moral support. Do you see what I mean? Yes, you may have came by yourself. Cool, fair enough, understandable. You're a man, cool. Secondly, the other point is, if you didn't want to be there in the first place, like deep it. If you didn't want to be there in the first place, why the, Why are you going anyway? You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't turn up. I'd be like, you know what? She went, She didn't come back home last uh, last time. Do you see what I mean? Or she didn't come back home. Do you know what I mean? She clearly ain't, she clearly don't want this relationship anymore. All right, she packed her bag, she left. Cool, stay gone. You'll be replaced. Simple as that. Like, that's not me being rude. Because some of you may say, oh, that's rude. That's like that, uh, you have no feelings or you've got no emotions. That's not to say that I'm not hurting. Yeah, I may be hurting, but do you know what? I'm going to be proactive. I'm not going to be sitting there with a bowl of ice cream or, or flipping, you know, eating bare junk food, feeling sorry for myself. No, I'm going to make the, make the most of my time, make the most of my resources and be like, all right, listen. I can replace you and first and foremost if i'm not going to make women my priority in the first place that's first of all but i will focus on what i need to do right what's more priority for me and if a woman comes along and replaces her then cool it is what it is <laughs> do you know what i mean like so yeah 
But yeah, so another thing is, I know, and Choma f feels upset, rightfully so, innit? Because she never was notified. You know what I mean? Like, he should have consulted her. But, to be fair, the one thing I do agree with Paul on is the fact of you wasn't there at home with me to even talk to you anyway. And I couldn't get hold of you, but you're dead posting on social media. So how can I get hold of you? Yeah, you could drop a message, but I don't think dropping a message, especially with the, um, the, 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 the drama that Shelby and his sister have, it's like, you can't drop a message like that. Even a voice note or, or, or voicemail, it won't run that way, you know what I mean? So literally, you have to be in the household for that decision to be made. It is what it is, you know what I mean? So that should be the incentive to make sure you come back home and stay home, innit? You know what I mean? Like, it's what it is. That is what it is, you know what I mean? Um, and then the other thing that was interesting in this episode, uh, Jamel goes from, did I stutter to stuttering? Listen, this brother was stuttering for 10, 15 minutes. Or if I'm exaggerating 10, 15 minutes, it was probably, probably for the whole of the episode. The brother was stutter, stuttering. I know I used to stutter, yeah, when I was a, when I was a small kid and it that. I used to stutter a lot, you know what I mean? I even had speech therapy, as far as I remember, according to my social care file. I like speech therapy and all sorts. But, did I? Yeah, 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 if I remember correctly. I might have to reread that to find out more about myself. But anyway, long story short. But that's some completely different. That's like something completely different. But it's like, he needs to man up. Like, listen, I know he's like... If you're in that situation, right, and you're a man watching this, and you want to confess something to your woman, or you want to tell your woman something, and the problem is, you're you're scared of how she would react, and that's probably why you're going to be stuttering and you're scared to tell her. You know what I mean? Because you don't know how she will react, and you don't know if it's going to be a reaction that you don't like, where she may just end up like leaving you. Do you see what I mean? So. It, it, to me, it's one of those things where it's like, it's like, you need to man up. Like, man up. I'm not saying don't care about feelings, but technically you kind of have to move like you don't care about feelings. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're going to have to be like, you know what, babes, listen. Yeah? And this is the other thing, because this is what he said. Jamal started with, baby, you know I love you, right? You know when you start with, you know I love you. That's, it, it, like, it, it's a wrap. Like, just say, just say straight. Like, if you cheated and you want to confess to your woman, just say, look, babe, listen. Long story short, look, man cheated, like, I cheated with my ex, innit? Cheated on you with my ex, yeah? You don't need to know the details. I know you probably want to know the details. Cool. But it's over. You know what I mean? Like, it was a, it was, don't say it was a mistake, because it wasn't a mistake. What's happened has happened. Just say, look, it's happened. It's your choice whether you want to stay with me or not. Either way, I'm fine. Do you see what I mean? Keep it simple. Either way, I'm fine. Do you know what I mean? Not to say that I will go back to my ex. And I wouldn't even cheat personally anyway. But it's a thing of, you just got to keep it real. Just say exactly what it is. Do you know what I mean? What's the worst that can happen? What, she's going to leave you? So? So? <laughs> what, she may slap you? So? What, she may pour water over you? Now that's where it's, a, it's that, that's too far, because there are some women that would do that, and there's some women that would do a whole madness, yeah. But you know, you just gotta keep it real, isn't it? Just keep it short, simple, straight to the point. And if she says when or how, like, just tell her she does not need to know about those details, yeah, because that doesn't matter. What matter is there was this problem. You know what I mean? Like, and this is the thing, I feel like with uh, the whole situation, because I think there was one point as well where Jamal admitted that, um, I think she, he was asked, Denise, the, the, the therapist asked, um, you know, what did you learn about each other, or stuff like that. And he mentioned like, oh, he, he never really learned about them as a couple, he learned more about himself. 
You know what I mean? So it's a thing of like, I'm like, you know what? You need to learn to man up. That's basically what you should have learned. Like, I'm just, so if you're in that situation, the lesson is, if you're a man watching this, man up. And if you're a woman watching this and your man has confessed to you or you want to get your man to confess or whatever, just ask him straight. And if he tells you no, that he hasn't cheated, keep it at that. Even if you have evidence that he has cheated. You know what I mean? The key thing is having evidence. And then you can decide what you want to do with that evidence or not. You know what I mean? And if he confesses, yes, without stuttering, then, you know, you can make a decision there and there if you want to stay with him or not. But don't do a, a madness where you're reacting. Listen, I know women are emotional um, beings. So are men too, but they not they react based on, um, what's you call it? Emotion, emotional intelligence and logic and stuff like that. But, you know, and women who are mature can react from emotional intelligence too. Yeah, so you have to be more mature in these situations. Yeah, don't be immature. Yeah, don't be immature. That's all I'm going to say, regardless of your age. Yeah, don't be immature. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, that whole, you know, I love you is so hilarious to me. But the stuttering get me like kind of remind me of that joe song um so that's probably how how um deborah was feeling in it or it reminds me of the whole stormzy situation when he was starting as no, I, I promise like and even even it's it, it was it's been a weird it's, these past few months and uh, knowing out um that was funny as well but then i saw another clip i won't insert that clip there's too many things to try and edit in that's just, is what it is um yeah then boom the next point is chioma feels as though paul is guilty for making her get an abortion she's what she's pregnant Funka. Funka. She, 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 she's pregnant hey i yeah me to me by me she's what she's pregnant pregnant Apostle will hear of this. I will tell Apostle about this. this is what I was seriously shocked myself. I'm like, yo, okay. But then again, I wouldn't be shocked because, hey, right, listen, if my soldiers are working, which they proven to me three times that they've been working, um, as far as I'm aware, um, and it's probably a fourth time, um, like, not saying that I've got a child or anything, don't get that twisted. I may do it out there, I don't know. Get me, some women, you know what I mean? It is what it is. I'm not going to say anything else like that. But, um, I want to say something, I forgot. Yeah, it's a mad situation that, you know, because it's a timeline. Because she mentioned this eight months ago, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hang on. But I swear in another episode he mentioned, no, yeah, Paul, she meant, no, Chioma mentioned, get me, he wasn't um, giving her no play in it. So I'm like, what really is the truth? I don't know what the truth is. Do you know what I mean? This is where another thing where some people may say, oh, it's fake. But it is what it is, isn't it? But <sighs> abortions are a mad thing, yeah? And I get why she didn't want to have an abortion. I get why she mentioned why she didn't want to have an abortion and all that stuff there and I get that. Um you know the whole mood has changed because of the whole situation because I'm trying to deep it and the lessons you can learn from it, because that's the key thing. It's about learning lessons here. Um because she didn't want to raise her child as a single mother, because she grew up in a two parent household and all that stuff there. So that's understandable. Because he you know, Paul was acting, basically, he wasn't really there for her, innit? So, and he wanted to abort her to have an abortion, which is, I'm trying to think of, if I've, I haven't really told any woman to get an abortion, I'll be real with you. I, I'm not even for abortions anyway, but there have been a time where, you know, there was one situation where, yeah, one situation, I said, you know what? <laughs> Whatever you decide to do, I'll support you. 
That was my thing. That's always going to be my thing. Whatever you decide to do, I'll support you. So if you decide to get an abortion, I right, I'll support you. If you decide to keep the child, I right, cool, I'll support you. Do you know what I mean? Now, this is why I'm very, like, very, 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 very careful with the women that I deal with. Yeah. So very, very careful nowadays. Very careful. You don't understand? I'm very careful. Yeah. Because I don't want no baby mama drama, none of that. Like, I'm very, very, very careful. Um, but yeah, so with the whole situation with Paul now, it's like, the thing is, it's so mad, yeah? Because, like, it's mad. I don't know how to explain it. To me, the moment she has an abortion, right? That should be the moment where Choma leaves that relationship there and then. Yeah? Because that she, she mentioned, like, she don't know where she can conceive again. She doesn't know. In reality, no one really knows. Yeah? No one really knows until it happens. Yeah? But the point I'm trying to make is, if you know how that person reacted the first time around, and they wanted you to have an abortion, and they're making money, they're saying they're making money the way that they're making money. You're set. Like, what the... F to me, things are basic. If you don't have the money, then it's, it's sort of understandable. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying it's understandable. Yeah? But, at the same time, it's just a mad situation. You know what I mean? You have to be considerate and caring of, uh, if this is what, you know, what the situation is with their family and this... You know what I mean? Gotta make it work somehow. But for me, I just think it's because that it lives with you. You know what I mean? You know how some sometimes there's some women yeah out there that go through mental trauma and stuff like that and PTSD and all that stuff there, or they go through depression and all that stuff there. Some that have had abortion, yeah, had abortions, is mainly because of that. The amount of abortion that they may have had. You know what I mean? Because it's hard to explain these situations. I don't want to go too much into it because there's other things I want to talk about in this episode. But all I will say is the lesson in this is know who you're dealing with. Do you know what I mean? Like, know who you're dealing with. Yeah? Know who you're dealing with. Like, and let the action show. Obviously, Paul has shown that he's a family orientated guy. So I can get why Chioma. You know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, it's like, <laughs> it's like, for example, another, there was another point. Even though I did, they didn't even tell her. There was another, another situation with another woman, actually. Um, and um, for me personally, in it. And she had an abortion. Like, I had heard from her for a, a month. Yeah, a month. And I was like, that's strange. And when I was working, normally I would see her, in it, And I hadn't seen her. I hadn't seen her. You know what I mean? And yeah, true, so I could have called her, but that's not how I work, isn't it? You have to contact me. You know what I mean? Plus, I'm busy anyway. So, I'm I'm reachable, though, isn't it? But anyway, hadn't heard from her for a whole, whole month. And then, I think she randomly either called me or I saw her. No, I can't remember the whole situation, but either, either way, we got back into contact, yeah? And then she told me that, right, oh, she's having an abortion. You know what I mean? No, no, she called me and she said, oh, that she was pregnant, right? And then she said, she's having an abortion. She didn't even consider me at all. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, she not even considering what I want. You know what I mean? Like, it's different because I think on the flip side, before, the other woman I was dealing with before, like probably like a few years before that yeah i think i don't even know how many the timeline but anyway but like she at least considered my thought my thoughts and my feelings or whatever she's like oh what should she do you know what i mean or what do you want me to do like you know what i mean like i love when a, when a woman asks me what do i want do you know what i mean what should i do do you know what i mean like because i'm a man in it like i'm a leader in it so obviously if you 
put me in a position where I have to lead, I'm going to lead. You know what I mean? Obviously, by me saying whatever you decide to do, I'm going to support you. That doesn't really seem like it's a, um, a leadership type of thing to do. But at the same time, it is because it's her body. Do you know what I mean? It's her body. But at the same time, I'm still going to be a man about mine. And you know what I mean? Whatever she does that to do, I'm with it. So I'm going to support you. But yeah, so yeah, I was I was I was shocked when she said to have an abortion. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Like I'm not, I don't really care. But at the same time, I was like, at that time, oh, I cared. I was vexed. I was vexed. I was like, how you're not even considering me? Like, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. But anyway, that's why I'm very careful with who I'm dealing with. Cause like, cool. But it, there was a bonus to why. It never happened. That's God's plan. All I can say is I am extremely grateful. Anyway. Alright, so boom. Next point. Oh yeah, so there's also a taboo subject in their home, so they don't talk about it. Um uh Chama and um and Paul. The next point, Ramon in the fourth point. So this might go into part two again. Jamil admits to cheating, finally, but he said he kinda cheated. Do you see what I mean? Like, just say it. Don't say kind of. Look, babes, I cheated, innit? It is what it is. Like, you ain't got no details. It is what it is. It happened. And, do you know what I mean? It's never going to happen again because I'm going to make sure this is why we're at this very position. This is why I brought you here because I value this relationship and boom. So, you know, you know, it's, I want it to work. Otherwise, if I didn't want it to work, we won't be here right now. Do you see what I'm saying? Now it's on her whether she wants to make it work or not. Get me? But anyway, Deborah feels like she's being pranked. Um, pranked, should I say? Not pranked. Yeah, I said punked, and this is why I said punked. All right. So next point is Deborah feels um, Jamel brought her on the show to embarrass her. But all right, fair enough. I understand you may feel embarrassed, but did you not try to embarrass him? Not once, but twice. Yeah. By in fact three times actually, by flipping. Um, firstly, with the whole phone situation, you know what I mean. This ain't in order, but the phone situation. That's embarrassing. In fact, no, it is from phone situation the first time. So she said, "Oh, what's this? Like, read this, read this." So basically, she made him read the the email, for the affirmation thing. I'm like, why are you reading that, bruv? Do you know what I mean? Man up and say, listen, I am not going to read that, yeah? I'm not going to read that, yeah? If you want to read it, you can read it. You're the one that pulled it up. If you want to use it for evidence, then do that. Do you know what I mean? Like, get me. It's what it is, like. And then, um, the other point was the whole phone situation with she's, like, up. Um, on, something about unlocking the phone and seeing what's on his phone. Like, why do you need to see what's on his phone? You see what I mean? Like, my phone is my phone. Your phone is your phone. Like, what difference is it gonna make? What, is it gonna make you feel re assured that, you know, assured or reassuring that you look for the phone and there's nothing there? But then the moment you do that, you feel like he's weak. So you find an up, anyway, we won't get into the whole situation about, you know, certain situations. But then the other thing is, it's like, but this way you'll no longer be attracted to the guy. Do you know what I mean? Because he allowed you to see his phone. You may still be with him, but now, you know what I mean? Now it's like you, you, your respect for him is gone. Do you see what I mean? Whereas, now it may seem like she doesn't respect him, because she doesn't clearly. But like she, I think, yeah, he, he declined that. But then anyway, there's another point. I forgot, I forgot what it was, but either way. Yeah, the other, other thing is her being on her phone, talking to her friend. In the previous episode, like, come on, like, what are you doing? Anyway, this is going on longer than I expected. So I might cut this off. I don't know. 
We've got to keep it going though. Let me see how much more I've got left. Yep. Let me do one more and then I'm going to cut this off and do another part. Alright, so, or part two, should I say. Alright, so, um, where was that? Alright, so, yeah, so she, she walks off. She walks off and she thought he brought her on to work on them and she feels embarrassed. And listen, listen, I swear to you, they, um, Blue Therapy, whoever, you know what I mean? Like, they must have got the camera crew from, from flipping, um, Jeremy Kyle. Like, the way they caught up with, with Deborah just running off and trying to find out, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Come on, you know you're not looking for the exit. They're just trying to be dramatic for the sake of being dramatic. Yeah? Like, and then, Finally, they sit down, they talk in like the like backstage and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it's, he tries to explain stuff. All I'm going to say is this. There's most people, most girls, unfortunately, and I, I say unfortunately, they still remain in a relationship if the guy cheats. I wouldn't recommend that if you're a man watching this, cheat. If you want to have other women, just say, you know what, I'm going to turn this monogamous relationship into a polygamous relationship. Do you know what I mean? Like, and the key word is polygamous, yeah? Understand there's a key word, polygamous. And now, this is where I want to say, if you click the link in the description box below, which is become a member of the Academy on Chance, you will get access to online courses such as roles and relationships, and that's where you're going to learn more about how dating and relationships actually work and you're going to learn more to do with monogamous relationship and how that works polygamous relationship and how that works open relationships relationships and how that works most guys i'm going to be real with you want a polygamous relationship they may not say it but they damn sure act like it you know what i mean now um if you've got any other suggestions you want me to react to next please in the comment section below make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification because you never know the video so it just might just be next but make sure you stay tuned for part two of uh, Blue Therapy, do you know what I mean? Reac uh, episode six, reaction, review, whatever you want to call it. Get me? Because this is long, but it's worth it.